Inverting the situation, mastering inversion and conditional sentences. Hello, dear learners. Today, we are diving deeper into the fascinating world of English grammar. We will focus on a very specific topic, inversion and conditional sentences. The term might seem complicated, but don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll be able to identify and correct inversions like a pro. Let's start at the beginning. Inversion is a grammatical construction where the verb comes before the subject. It's commonly used in conditional sentences to give emphasis or to make your sentences sound more formal or literary. An example of this could be, should you need any assistance, please feel free to ask. In a normal word order, this sentence would read, if you need any assistance, please feel free to ask. Inversion in conditional sentences happens after certain phrases, should plus subject, were plus subject, had plus subject, and under no circumstances, to name a few. Let's talk about how to identify correct inversions. This can be done by spotting if the verb, auxiliary or modal, comes before the subject, and also if the inversion is logically and grammatically correct. For example, a correct inversion would be, had I known about the meeting, I would have attended. Now, on to identifying incorrect inversions. An incorrect inversion might occur if the verb does not precede the subject or if the sentence is not logically or grammatically correct. For instance, the sentence, I had known about the meeting, I would have attended, is incorrect because the verb, had, does not precede the subject, I. Here's the exciting part, practice. Let's look at some exercises where you need to identify whether the inversions are correct or incorrect. 1. Should anyone call, tell them I am busy. Correct, incorrect. 2. Were I a millionaire, I would travel the world. Correct, incorrect. 3. Had I eat breakfast, I wouldn't be hungry now. Correct, incorrect. 4. Under no circumstances, you should leave this room. Correct, incorrect. Please pause the video and try to answer these questions. The correct answers will be given in the next section. Time to check your answers. 1. Should anyone call, tell them I am busy. Correct. 2. Were I a millionaire, I would travel the world. Correct. 3. Had I eat breakfast, I wouldn't be hungry now. Incorrect. It should be, had I eaten breakfast. 4. Under no circumstances, you should leave this room. Incorrect. The correct inversion is, under no circumstances should you leave this room. Well done, everybody. You've made significant strides in mastering inversion and conditional sentences. Remember, the key to learning is practice, practice, practice. So, keep practicing these exercises until you feel confident. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. I hope you found it helpful. Until next time, keep learning, and keep growing.